Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's question is electrophoretic separation of leucine from a protein sample would be least effective at which of the following pH values and you have to choose one of these answers. So let me remind you of the formula of this amino acid. So let me start with carboxyl group. So oxygen here, carboxylic carbon and another oxygen here alpha carbon here, hydrogen group here, and amino group here, and hydrogen, hydrogen, and another hydrogen here. So we have a positive charge here and negative charge here. And here is the R group. So we have one carbon here, here is another carbon, and here two more carbons. So here we have two bonds, so we need two more. So hydrogen two here and another hydrogen here and three more hydrogens here. We have methyl group here and another one here. So three more hydrogens here. And as you see, nitrogen group and carboxylic group would be reactive groups, so they have charge. And as you see, this R group is not reactive and consists only of carbons and hydrogens. This line represents pH scale, so here we have zero and here at the top we have 14. Here in the middle we have pH 7, which considered to be neutral. This is about what we have in our blood, pH 7.4. And the lower we go down this uh, scale, the more hydrogen atoms we can find, or specifically hydrogen ions. So we will have at pH 0 a lot of uh, hydrogen ions here. And when we go up the scale, the least hydrogen atoms we can find here. So when we divide the scale, we can find that each time we go down, so this um, solutions are going to be acidic and everything above the seven, pH seven, we consider to be basic. So when we go down the scale, for example, at pH 6, we will find 10 times more uh, hydrogen ions than at pH 7. And at pH 5, we will find 10 times more hydrogen ions than at pH 6. Uh, the difference between pH 7 and pH 5 would be 100 fold, and 4 would be 1000 fold, and 3 would be 10,000 fold. Now let's take a look at our answers. For example, all these variants show us pretty low pH. That means that we are going to have a lot of hydrogen ions in our solution. We also can call them protons because hydrogen without electron is going to be just a proton. Let's take a look if anything going to happen to this R group. Nothing is going to happen because every carbon here has four covalent bonds and again nothing is going to happen with R group. Each amino acid has backbone which is going to be the same in each amino acid but R group is going to be different and R group specify isoelectric point of each amino acid. What is the isoelectric point? It is a point at which each amino acid would be neutrally charged, meaning would have positive charge and negative charge, which would cancel each other. So we can say that they would exist in sweater iron form and would be neutral. Leucine has as electric point, which is 5.98. And as you see, at very low pH, the only group that is going to be affected is going to be this carboxyl group, carboxylic acid group, because this hydrogen 
would react with this oxygen which has negative charge. So we are going to have here uh, alcohol group or H and this negative charge would be lost. So our amino acid would be on the overall positively charged at the very low pH when we have a lot of protons. So this carboxylic group is going to be protonized. Now let me explain about electrophoretic separation. So imagine that this is gel and as I explained in my many previous videos, for example, if we have DNA, so right now example would be about DNA and not about amino acids, we load our DNA samples and the wells on one side of our gel, we apply electric current, so we have anode here and cathode here, positive charge and negative charge, because DNA is on the overall negatively charge, it start to move in the direction of the positive charge, in the direction of the uh, anode. But with proteins, proteins can be both positively charged and negatively charged. So proteins, amino acids, we load in the middle because they can move in both directions. If they would be on the overall positively charged, they're going to move to the negative charge. And if they would be on the overall negatively charged, they would move in the direction of the anode. All amino acid has different isoelectric point at which they exist as the sweater ions having both positive and negative charge. And, and of course, at this isoelectric point, if we load our gel at uh, this pH, it's not going to move no to anode, no to cathode, because uh, would have charge which is going to be net zero. But if our gel would have pH which is going to be substantially low, then our molecule would have a positive charge and would move in the direction of the cathode. But if our medium is going to have a very high pH, would be very basic, it's going to have negative charge and would move in the direction of the anode. Now let's read our question again. Electrophoretic separation of leucine from a protein sample would be least effective, so let me underline least effective, at which of the following values. And of course when values are going to be very low, pH would be very low, our amino acid is going to be positively charged and would be easy to separate from the rest. But this pH value is close to isoelectric point of this amino acid and at this pH most of the amino acids, uh, leucine, would exist as sweater iron and would have positive and negative charge and would be net neutral and it would be hard to separate at this pH value. So our choice is answer A. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.